Hey everyone, it's Ruby and welcome back to my channel. I've decided to recreate this 90s inspired makeup look that Kylie Jenner has been rocking. It's so simple to do that you're going to probably end up wearing this as your daily makeup look. So let's get started. Start by using a primer. A primer will help the longevity of your base makeup and will also help fill in pores. For foundation, I'm going to use L'Oreal's True Match Foundation in N2 to create a flawless natural looking base. And I'm going to be using my Sigma F82 Round Kabuki to blend the product out and I'm also bringing this down onto my neck as well. My eyebrows can sometimes be foundation collectors. So I'm using some makeup remover on a cotton tip to remove this light cast over my eyebrows. I'm using a double-ended brush with a spoolie by Sigma to groom my eyebrows into place. Using my Acro Brow by Makeup Forever, I'm going to be using the brush end to slightly fill in the sparse areas of my brows. And now we're on to creating Kylie Jenner's eye makeup look. Use an eye primer to help eyeshadow stay put. This also helps your eyeshadows look vibrant for much longer. The first eyeshadow colour that we're using is Blank Type from MAC. And I'm placing this underneath my brows and also on my lids using a flat shader brush. To define the crease and to also add a transition colour through the socket, I'm going to be using Wedge by MAC on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to be running this back and forth. You want your transition colour to slowly disappear into the brow bone highlight. And if you need to, use a larger fluffier brush to make sure you diffuse everything really well. I'm mixing a darker eyeshadow colour with Wedge to intensify my eye look and to create more definition on the outer corner. Here I'm using circular motions to blend the product through the crease and also onto the lid. For our lower lid area, I'm going to be mixing Espresso and Wedge together once again and using a smaller brush, I'm just going to run this along my lower lash line. I'm now going to take a pencil brush and diffuse the colour out slightly, leaving the inner tear duct area bare. To create Kylie's wing, we're going to need a gel liner. I'm using Mary Kay's gel liner along with a MAC synthetic angled brush. With the liner and angled brush, I'm starting off by drawing a standard line from the centre of my lid. You want the line to gradually get thicker as you reach the outer corners of your eyes. Use your angled brush and your lower lash line as a guide to draw and connect your wing. With whatever is left on your brush, use this to define the outer corner of your lower lash line just slightly. Kylie has big beautiful eyes so we want to curl our lashes to ensure that this opens up our eyes. Applying a white or flesh tone eyeliner through the waterline also helps to open up the eyes even further. Now what I'm going to be doing is creating a little bit of definition and warmth by using a cream foundation that I use as a contour. And I'm just going to be contouring the temples, my cheekbones and also down my chin just to thin it out a little because Kylie Jenner does have a smaller chin compared to me. And I'm also going to be defining my nose and making it a lot slender, a lot shorter by just contouring the edges and also the tip of my nose and just blending it out. From her recent images, I can tell that Kylie likes lashes that are long and fluttery. So I'm going to be using two different mascaras to help lengthen both my top and lower lashes. I'm applying coats and coats of my Big Lash Mascara by Essence and for my lower lash line, I'm going to be using my Bottom Lash Mascara by Clinique. A great tip is to keep your spoolie at hand. Just in case your eyelashes clump together, you can always use your spoolie to separate them. Moving on to the lips, all I'm doing is blotting off the lip balm that I had on. I'm then going to move on to lining my lips using my Cappuccino Lip Pencil by Rimmel London. And I'm just going to start off by lining the outside of my lips and then just filling in the outer corners. I'm also going to be using my little finger to spread the colour all over my lips and to also soften the line on the outer edges. To achieve Kylie's nudish brown lip colour, I'm using Mary Kay's Lip Liner in Soft Blush and going over my entire lip. To complete this first look, I'm going to be mixing a blush and also a bronzer colour by Estee Laura and I'm going to be placing this on the back of my cheeks just above where we applied our contour. I'm also going to highlight my face very quickly and I'm going to be applying the highlighter in areas that makes it look like we've applied war paint. So underneath the eyes, um, in between my eyebrows, around my mouth and also my cupid's bow. To blend that all out, I'm going to be using my Airbrush Concealer Brush by Models Prefer to buff and blend this all out. To get Kylie's signature mauve look, I'm going to be using a mauve lipstick by Avon to create a slight stain over the lips. I'm using my finger to transfer my lip colour from the lipstick head and onto my lips using patting motions. Start by patting the colour towards the centre of your lips and then moving outwards to the outer corners. 
I hope you've kept your lip liner close by because we're going to need it to redefine the shape of our lips. I'm using a light hand and feathery strokes to create definition and also some fullness to my lips to mimic Kylie's full pout. Once again, soften the edges up by using your fingers. Now that we've finally finished with our second lip variation, I'm going to be applying some highlighter to the tops of my cheekbones. Here, I'm using Mary Luminizer by The Balm. And this is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed my Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look with two lip variations. For a full list of products, please visit my blog at rubygalani.com and I'll have a direct link in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope that you subscribe to my channel for more videos with me. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.